Welcome everyone. This is Mundan Raghavan. Today we are going to discuss one of the nice feature which is available inside the Excel where we can make the API call from the Excel itself and we can convert the large JSON object into the Excel table. In some of the scenarios you will be having the API call to get the test data or to get the current information about any required information on the test data. Sometimes the test data will be looking like more JSON stacked something like this one. See, for example, we are taking some sample information and it might be looking like something like a more data with a different JSON objects together. So there are some scenarios you need to share this information to the business team or you want to make some changes for this JSON data as an Excel table format. So you may need to write a different code. You may need to parse it in a different way. But if you have the Excel, you don't need to do everything like this. You just go to the Excel sheet, open Excel, open any blank workbook and you know the URL, just make a note of URL and go to the data tab and get data. And here you can see the option called from other services, click on from web. So when you click on web, there will be two options for you. One is basic, one is advanced. Let's say, for example, your API call is just to get the information. Then you can use the basic, just placing the URL here. In other scenarios, something like you want to have a different headers, you want to pass some, let's say, header parameters. So in that scenario, you will be having the advanced. But today, we are going to see the basic information just to get some JSON data and convert into the Excel table. Just give the URL and click OK. Then it will be opening the Power Query Builder. And here you can see the data and source. So just we need to compare with our actual response. Here you can see the JSON response has two areas. One is like a data, another one as a source. Inside the data, you have the list and the list has the different JSON documents. In the same way here, you can see data and source. Both has the list as you see here. Now we are very focusing on the data part. So I will just right click on the data list and mention into table. Now here you can see as a table format. Now in this scenario, you can click on the double arrow, something like expanding. There you click it and mention expand to new rows. So that means that each and every record that you see under the data will be converted into the records here. So now you can see under the data, you have the different data. Now we are focusing on only on the data. So I will filter to only the data part. Now you have the data and each and every record that you have in your JSON format. Now what you can do is like, now you can click on this arrow symbol. Now you are able to select which are the fields that you want to get from each and every record. Now here you can see ID nation, nation, ID year, year, population, slug nation. The same thing you can see in the each and every JSON document or every JSON data. In my case, I'm going to select everything and click OK. Now here you can see that the actual JSON data has been converted into the table format. And here you can see since it's coming from the data, the first one will be the data. And everything will be as a value. In the value, you have the ID nation, ID value, sorry, the ID year, nation, and the population, slug nation, and so on, which you see similarly here in this ID nation, nation, ID year, year, population, and slug nation. After checking everything, the fields has been coming correctly. You can go to the close and load. And before that, you go to any stage that you applied so far by clicking any one of this. You can go to the source or you can go to the converted into the table, how it looks like. And you can go to the expanded value and you can go to the filtered values that we removed the source and we can show the expanded value. After checking everything, you can just click on close and load. Then you will get the nice Excel table format of your JSON data response in the table format. So by this, we can save a lot of times so that we can convert the huge JSON response to the Excel data. It can be shared with the different team members or the functional testing team, or you can just manipulate the data, or you can have the backup of your data as well. So this is all about this option inside your Excel, which is nothing but just go to the data again. Go to the get data and here you can see from other services and click on from web. So from here, you can start with the normal basic URL or you can go to the advanced URL in case if you have multiple parts and let's say if you have the headers and so on. 
So this is all about this video. So thanks all. Thanks for watching and have a great day.